Remus. Aeterni Deus, et Clementus me Pater, gratias tibi qua maximas agimus, quod nos, a fera et agresti vita, ad artes ingenuas, et scientiarum cognitionem deduxerus, quod domum nostram, perpetua largitate et misericordia, usque ad hunc diem prosecutusis, quod viam nobis, et veritatem et vitam, in filio tuo indicavaris. Arte pater petimus, ut servi tui graduandi, hab his perfecti initiis, ad metam perfectionis ad spirent, et nobis, nostri quere publicae, laudi et ornamento esse possent. Tibi pater filio, et spiritu sancto, sit laus honor et gloria in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> in this, the 515th year of the university, I welcome you all most warmly to this congregation for the conferment of honorary degree. Chancellor, by authority of the Senate, I present to you these persons on whom the Senate desires you to confer the honorary degree of Doctor of Science. I wish to present to you Professor Fissaha Gabriab, founding dean of the Ethiopian Veterinary School. Ethiopia is a land of contrast and complexity. It ranges from high mountain plateau to parched deserts below sea level. But one of the outstanding characteristics, at least from a veterinary point of view, is that uh, although it has the largest livestock population in Africa, until relatively recently, it had very few veterinarians and it did not have a veterinary school. This changed in 1979 when Professor Fissaha Gabriab had the vision and drive to create a veterinary school in Ethiopia. Prior to this time, the very small number of Ethiopians who had to become veterinarians had to travel overseas to receive their training and so it was for Fissaha Gabria. Going overseas to receive veterinary training is difficult enough, but when the veterinary school you have been sent to is in Poland and teaches only in Polish, it becomes doubly difficult. However, after six months tuition in, of the language, Fissaha entered the Warsaw Veterinary School and not only qualified in veterinary medicine, but also received a prize for the best Polish spoken by a foreign university student. In recognition of this success, he was then awarded a fellowship to study for a master's degree. But this time it happened to be in France, and he had to become sufficiently proficient in French to write his thesis, which of course he did before returning to Ethiopia in 1975. In 1979, he joined Addis Ababa University as the founding dean of the newly launched Ethiopian Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. This was a major challenge for a poorly funded university with no academic base in veterinary medicine. It was also in the midst of Ethiopia's Marxist revolution following the overthrow of Emperor Haile Selassie in 1974 and a long period of strife and uncertainty in Ethiopia. However, through Fissaha's energy and commitment, he established a flourishing veterinary school which was, one, which was to become one of the best in Africa. He gathered support from around the world to provide books and equipment and the first intake of 20 students was quickly recruited. Significantly and unusually for most of the world, he had developed a policy of using external examiners, which ensured that the graduating students were of an international standard. Many staff from our own veterinary school in Glasgow have served as external examiners, and many younger Ethiopian academic staff came to Glasgow for postgraduate training. In the early years, staff at the Ethiopian Veterinary School were drawn from various parts of Africa and further afield, including, including Cuba, when Fidel Castro decided to support Ethiopia's revolution. In the 1980s, Fissaha Gabriab established close links with the UK-based Donkey Sanctuary, 
which had concern for the hard-pressed donkeys of Ethiopia. With the sanctuary's help and the personal support of the director, Dr. Elizabeth Svensson, another honorary graduate of this university and who is with us today, a special clinic was established at the Ethiopian Veterinary School, and which to date has treated over 60,000 donkeys. These successes were all achieved through years of revolution, turmoil and famine in Ethiopia. It is a great testimony to Fisaha Gabriab's commitment to veterinary medicine in Ethiopia that was so much was accomplished. And there is now a thriving veterinary school and a strong cadre of well-trained Ethiopian veterinarians. Professor Fisaha Gabriab can truly be called the father of veterinary education in Ethiopia. Mr. Chancellor, it is now with great pleasure I invite you to confer the honorary degree of Doctor of Science on each of the following persons. Ms. Helen Bam. Keski NTI Doctor Kriab. Dr. Rita Colwell. Keski NTI Doctor Kriab. Professor Kip Thorne. Keski NTI Doctor Kriam. And the honorary degree of Doctor of Veterinary Medicine and Surgery on Professor Fisaha Gabriel. Medicinae et Kerugiae Veteranariae Doctorum Criam. Well done. Indeed, a turning point in history. And now, in the year of the 11th Jubilee, we say with apprehensive justification, or if you like, justified apprehension, that we are at another turning point in history. But in these difficult times, the university, fortified by the support and the affection of those who wish it well, will build on the achievements of those who have taught and studied within its walls for five and a half centuries and will go forward with creativity and resolve and confidence. Gratia. Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, et caritas Dei, et communicatio Spiritus Sanctus, et cum omnibus vobis. Amen. 